people on their way, travel problems and so forth. Um, David Wilcox and has been um, organising this event with Matt Scott and others who you'll meet during the course of the uh, of, of the day. Um, terrific to have an, such an interesting mix of, of people. Um, the purpose of this event and other things we're organising, it's really got two strands. Matt and I have always been talking about how you can use network thinking and digital technology to support social action in its broader sense over the last year or so. And then London funders together with LBSC and Great London Volunteering produced a report on the future of London <coughs> civil society and how we think we think the role not just of community and voluntary organisation, but anybody who's trying to do good stuff in London. So that gives a really interesting context in which we're um, exploring this. <coughs> and um, I've been working with Drew Mackie probably about 30 years or so. A consistent theme mm -hmm. in that has been Drew's uh, interest in networks and how you map networks, understand networks, mm -hmm. and facilitate networks. And of course, in the digital age, networks are becoming a kind of dominant mode of um, organising. Um, and I've been following Harold Jarshad, who uh, is based in, in Canada, an international uh, speaker, consultant, working around uh, network leadership, social learning, and so forth. And um, discovered that Harold was going to be in the country and uh, managed uh, to uh, find a slot today when he could, he could join us. So what we've ended up with is um, a program of exploration over three months or so, which started a month or so back. We had a meeting on January 10th to explore some of these issues. We've got today and we have another meeting at City Hall on February 22nd, hosted by the Deputy uh, Mayor, Matthew Ryder QC, who is particularly concerned of social integration, which again is about connections. So anyway, the themes we're exploring today and over these months is about uh, human relationships, human connections, whether that's in the community, local communities, or across London. How we can use not just digital technology, but any kind of technology to um, support that. And um, today you've seen the, uh, you've got the uh, agenda. Matt will say a little bit more about London context. We've got um, Francis, Francis going on, talking about Global Net 21. Um, Harold, more from uh, Drew mm -hmm. on networks, and then more good stuff um, this afternoon. I've probably said more than I should do, really, because one of our big concerns is it's going to be keeping to time today. So there's a pink card or a red card, mm -hmm. someone can wave it. Uh, at, at speakers. Anyway, Matt, do you want to fill in a bit yeah, more? Yeah, thanks very much, David. Um, <coughs> so, brilliant to see everyone here. Um, really looking forward to the day and the discussions that we're going to be having. Um, my name is Matt Scott. Um, I work at London Voluntary Service Council, an umbrella organisation across London. We live stream. Um, so, if you do not want to be featured on that in the usual way, um, if you see um, John, our uh, live streamer um, and social media expert, um, then just kind of make yourself known to John, um, let him know, <coughs> wave, etc. We'll do our best to make sure that your privacy is respected in that regard. Um, we have a hashtag, um, you've got the agenda in your packs, etc. Um, it be fantastic if you can tweet out and really get, a, um, get this kind of uh, known more widely. So the hashtag for those um, that want it is netwcity. Um, that's what we ended up with, anyway. Um, so, just to um, a few sort of quick um, observations, really, about the London context. Um, my, my sense is of the incredible opportunities and possibility of London as a global city. Um, I worked out from a piece of variable research that we've got 120,000 community groups in London. But we haven't got a decent strategy worth the name to actually make that, to really unlock that. The Greater London Authority, we did a lot of hustings with our new Mayor Sadiq, the um, Fairness Agenda. Why is it that the GLA has nothing approaching a voluntary sector strategy? They, they understand volunteering, but they're not really digging into the depth of 
what groups do in a networked way, in a very intuitive but also um, organised way, um, to deliver such powerful transformation in people's lives. So I'm kind of struck by how collectively our, our sector hasn't quite got its act together, and the great and the good, all of those business entrepreneurs that are out there, um, from Parliament downwards to the GLA to London councils, um, there's a sense that there's so much more that can be done. And the way that we've been operating, I think, is through branded organisations, very formal organisations, um, charitable companies, etc. Um, but that, that hasn't really translated in terms of unleashing some of the, the energy that's there. I'm really excited to hear some of our speakers, um, Francis and colleagues from Harrow in terms of workers' co-op, because we don't have to organise and behave in the ways that we do, receive wisdom of a sort of top-down hierarchy, for example. But there are very dynamic models that the, the private sector, arts organisations, activists are using all the time. Um, so we mentioned the way ahead. I'm not sure if you've waded through that 80 to 100 page document, but it strikes me that London funders, for once, in, and I've known them for about 20, 30 years, but I can't remember them grasping that nettle and trying to articulate something around um, social action, civil society and infrastructure. So it seems like the funders are keen to try and think more um, in a joined up way about how social action can be mobilised, but I think we need to kind of give them the answers and set up the, the structures in a much more proactive way. Um, at the moment, I think we've got quite a, a conversation at different, different levels of the, the sector, but I think networks can really do something quite extraordinary in terms of, of leading the way. Final point, I put governance in the, the title for this, so social action, governance and networking. I'm kind of, my, my concern is that sometimes um, the, the very high energy conversations we have don't find their way into being sustainable. Um, and that a certain model of governance can be quite controlling mm -hmm. um, in terms of um, running organisations but not necessarily kind of unleashing the action below them. So I'd be really interested in our ideas about how we build a movement of enthusiasts, communities of practice, uh, facilitators, connectors, that we can make this stuff stick because we're all doing. Um, incredible stuff in our different lives in terms of making social action happen. But I think the challenge would be how do we get this agenda much more embedded? Um, <coughs> that's just a thought that I think particularly in the afternoon we'll be covering. So anyway, plenty from me. Um, I'll stop there. And I will